Uh, we want to check in with Long Beach. It's been so great. We've been getting updates from all of the different towns and lots of different areas across the island because everyone's had a really different experience with yep. the storm. Long Beach, of course, a city slammed by Superstorm Sandy. And so now we want to go ahead and check in on the phone with Gordon Tepper, who is the Long Beach Communications Director. Gordon, how are you doing this morning? We're doing great. Thanks for having us here. Oh, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for calling and giving us the update. And we're so glad that we understand the update is not nearly as bad as, as yeah. we were you, you guys fared pretty well. preparing for. Yeah, the, uh, the city's full complement of snow vehicles. They've been running all night. Public Works crew's still running, going to be running all morning. And uh, the administration really has been on top of this, executing a thorough preparation and response plan. City Council President Scott Mandel mm -hmm. sort of set the tone, making a citywide phone call Thursday night declaring a snow emergency. Right. And uh, we've been updating mm -hmm. our residents online ever since. Our Public Works Commissioner, Jim Lacaruba, the entire Public Works staff, all our CSEA members, they've worked all night, too, done a phenomenal job. And, of course, in terms of public safety, our police and fire departments are there for any and all emergencies. So, Gordon, what is the problem uh, down there? You mean pretty much fared well. What did, what did you get, about like eight inches of snow, about something like that? Yeah, yeah, that's right. We got between eight and ten inches of snow, but mm -hmm. uh, our vehicles were out salting and sanding and, and plowing. And, uh, you know, also worth mentioning, because uh, this has been talked about, there was some concern for potential flooding, you know, since we're so vulnerable in the wake of Sandy. But our temporary sand barriers on the beach have helped, protecting our city from significant flooding. And uh, our water and sewer plants are up and running, no loss of power. We're doing pretty good. Yeah, I know. And uh, we, of course, have uh, folks mm. who work uh, here at News 12 who live in Long Beach. Right. And we've talked to residents down there. And it was just, you know, really like that post-traumatic stress feeling right. hearing about this blizzard uh, as it was approaching. Yeah, no question about it. I think that uh, the reaction was, was a little bit stronger, you know, given what we've experienced in the last few months. But things are pretty good. And uh, just, just one thing I'd like to put out there, we put this online, and that is uh, when you're shoveling and, and clearing the sidewalk this morning, uh, you know, you can be a good neighbor and, and, and check on uh, your mm -hmm. neighbors on your block. And, mm -hmm. you know, some people still aren't home. We still estimate somewhere between 20 and 30 percent of the residents in Long Beach are not here. Or if they are, perhaps they don't have any shovels. So, you know, if you could just uh, help clear the sidewalk for somebody who needs it, that would be wonderful. Right. That's one thing I think, you know, one of the lessons, one of the takeaways from Sandy is that folks really you know we're forced to look out for one another forced to check on one another and so hopefully that you know that will continue through this storm as people are thinking about neighbors who as you said may or may not be in their homes but it's worth you know double checking to make sure that everybody's okay and made it through the storm because you know eight to ten inches is still a significant amount of snow that's still a lot of digging out for folks who are already in uh, in really dire storms uh, you know, you do still have a little bit of debris uh, along roadways, narrow roads. Uh, how does the plowing, uh, you know, work in Long Beach? I can't imagine, you know, just driving the car down the road is a, a tricky deal. Well, yes, yeah, certainly. But, uh, you know, our public works crews have been working not just through the night and this morning, but in, uh, you know, all yesterday and the day before, clearing up that debris, anything that was still uh, out there, because it's, it's critical that the roads are clear if we're going to send vehicles out there to plow the streets. So uh, they really, they did just a phenomenal job. Like I said, our public works commissioner, Jim Lacaruba, his entire staff, all the members of the CSCA, they just, you know, They've been sensational. They were sensational in the wake of Sandy, and once again, uh, sensational today. Mm -hmm. You know, I, uh, following the hurricane, I just, you know, thinking about this, when the sand was in the streets, it was, it was just so surreal. It was as if it was a snowstorm, but it was of sand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm a lifelong resident here in Long Beach, so experiencing that was unlike anything I'd ever seen or thought I would ever see. Um, it was catastrophic devastation, for sure, and uh, we just... You know, we received an outpouring of support from higher levels of government and volunteers and, of course, the, the city workers. And uh, with the recovery, it's a long road, but it's remarkable what we were able to do. And you, you guys had those, those videos, the, uh, the helicopter footage, just right after the storm hit and how devastated the city was. And if you were to come out to Long Beach today, it's, it's a completely different place. Mm -hmm. you know, I, we're, we're really getting back on our feet. I tell you, as a, a journalist and a reporter, I am so impressed with the residents of Long Beach and all they have done to support each other, the mm -hmm. community, and bring Long Beach back. And uh, it's just, we had, a, you know, of course we, we've, we've had many segments on it, but it's amazing the outreach that has gone on and uh, really restores your faith. Yep. 
Yeah. Yeah. No question. We, you know, Long Beach is a unique place. We got a unique spirit. Uh, they say once you have Long Beach sand in your shoes, you always have Long Beach sand in your <laughs> shoes. And we, we love this place, and, and we're not leaving, and we're going to be there for each other, and that's just the way Long Beach is. All a right. resilient bunch, you folks down there. Uh, just a little blizzard. That's nothing for you guys. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's All right. right. Gordon Tepper, thank you. Long Beach Communications Director checking in with us. Long Beach faring well. Thank heavens through this blizzard. Not the case so much across the island. 9.14 in the morning. You're watching our live storm watch coverage. We have teams out and about across Long Island and 30 inches of snow. It's in that mm -hmm. central Suffolk, northern part of central Suffolk. 30 inches of snow there. Eight, maybe 10 inches.